Hi there, my name is Shauna Bernardin and I'm here with Global Groomers. And today we are going to be working on my little girl, Marchy March. She's a real sweetheart. Uh, we've been in the middle of 52 challenge. We're giving you guys 52 free videos and this one today is actually a request. So I love doing that. I love that you guys are getting involved. Thank you so much. Now what the request was, was to do an Aussie's ear for a show dog. So you can do it for a show dog or a pet. So I'm going to bring, oh, she's so happy, this girl. <laughs> I love her. So I'm going to show you guys how to go about doing the ear. One thing I'll have you notice quickly is that she hasn't had a bath. So that's pretty important. Uh, if you look at her right now, she's looking pretty scruffy. So we will go ahead and we're going to strip out some of this hair on the top of her top line right now. When I'm doing that, I'm just going to use a stone. And I want to do it before the bath. I'm just going to pull the hair straight off. Now you're definitely going to have to do this with a percentage of love. And I'm going to go over the whole dog like that. But right now, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration on the ear. And sometimes I feel like you guys are stressing out too much about it and you're thinning shearing way too much. That's the biggest problem. So you see all this fluff at the back of the ear right here. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the ear forward over the eye. And I'm standing on the back of her right now and I'm just gonna create a small triangle. And I'm gonna pull all this hair out before she goes into the bath. Now, I'm being careful not to make an indentation on the top of her ear. Okay, so you wanna go slow and steady but I really do 90% of the grooming of her, of her ears before she even goes in the bath. After she comes out of the bath, I just do a slight little detail, which I'm gonna share with you too. So here we are back with my girl, Marty Marge, the happiest little girl in the world. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say that this actual video was a request, so thank you so much. This video is going out to Katrina Weeb from California. So, she wanted to actually see how to scissor the ear. So we did most of that this morning when we stripped it out. So if you have a look at her ear, it's basically already perfectly trimmed. Okay, so I think that what the problem you were having, Katrina, was probably that you were thinning shearing too much and not using a stone. So after she's been bathed and blow dried, and we stripped it out in the morning, I'm just gonna turn this to the side. I really don't need to take off much at all because this has already been pulled out with a stone. So if I fold the eye over the, or sorry, fold the ear over the eye a little bit, easy. Do you see how it creates a line right here? Okay, so I'm just gonna take that off with my thinning shears. And then I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna just fluff this back bit up and it's a little tiny bit heavy you see on the back of her ear March, get the. so I'm just going to take that off okay and then the other place that I like to take a little bit of hair off on these guys too on the ear is just on the inside right here be very careful that you don't scissor into their face you want to make sure that an Aussie has a nice little face when you look at it and see how cute she is. Now she goes with the uh, Aska all the time so we don't take the whiskers off of her so she stays. But a lot of North American Aussies, they will show without the whiskers. So then I'm just going to give you a little tiny foot tutorial again. Oh, you're the sweetest girl. I love the Aussies. You're so good. All right, so I've already gone ahead and I've done her toenails already. March. Good girl. So I'm just gonna come and I'm gonna shave her pads with my Wall Bavera. Easy go. And when I'm doing this, I wanna kinda edge around the bottom of the foot. This is really, really gonna help you get those little twinkle toes that you guys all go crazy about. As well as you wanna get into the inside of the pad. Be careful not to shave off the back of the pastern here. I see a lot of times you guys are scissoring that straight off. These guys are meant to have a nice pastern. You don't need to make them look like they're breaking down in their pastern. Okay, sit. Good job. So I'm just gonna take a slicker brush. I'm gonna brush it straight forward. 
just like that. Okay. I'm going to just create a line underneath. I'm not touching any of the hair on the top. Easy go. So all I'm doing is just going as close to the foot as I can possibly go, but I'm not taking any hair from the top of the foot. Okay, and then we're going to have her stand back up. And we're going to put the weight back on the foot. I stand back here. Easy go. I just brush up those little feathers and then I take my thinning shears and I follow it around. You want to create a little cat-like foot. You're such a little brat. This is always fun. Huh? So instead of scissoring it off straight and flat, you want to create like a little cat-like foot. So I hope these tips helped you. I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of her all finished up. So this is the end of our little Marchy March girl. And she's a show Australian. I hope you guys got some really good tips. I wanna give a huge shout out to her owner cause she's super, super supportive. This dog's grandfather won the American National this year. And he's a very, very famous boy. His name is Memphis. And this is the granddaughter. And their owners are my really good friend, Lori Ashley. And she's super supportive of learning and she's always helping us out. So I think that's so great. I really want to mention that to you. Plus, they're the cutest dogs in the world. Uh, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for all your likes. Please share and please subscribe. <laughs>